Warning, this article contains potential spoilers for Game of Thrones Season 8. When will Game of Thrones Season 8 be released? Game of Thrones Season 8 has been confirmed by HBO to hit screens in 2019. HBO announced the release date back in January. This year and work is still taking place on the last run. The network also revealed the names of the directors and writers working on Game of Thrones Season 8. Unfortunately, the only details revealed to fans so far is that it will be released next year which has led to lots of speculation and some false reports. Season 8 production is taking place in Croatia, Northern Ireland and Iceland. US broadcaster HBO released an official statement which said that Game of Thrones would return for its sixth episode, eighth and final season in 2019. On top of all of this, one Game of Thrones fan has claimed to Collider that the first poster for Season 8 has been released. The design simply states, GOT 2019 and the sigils of House Stark, Lannister and Targaryen. However, this poster cannot be verified. The cast and crew have been spotted at various locations across the world shooting scenes on the fantasy epic including Dubrovnik where Jon Snow actor Kit Harington was apparently seen by a Croatian fan. As well as Harrington being spotted, he was seen filming scenes with Lena Headey, better known as Cersei Lannister, and John Bradley, who plays Samuel Tarly. As the script for Game of Thrones season 8 been leaked, sadly for avid fans. 2018 will be a year of no new episodes of Game of Thrones. Star Maisie Williams, who plays the younger sister to Jon Snow. Ira Stark, was previously quoted to have dropped some big hints about the season 8 release date. However, Williams, 20, has now hit back at the reports stating that she revealed the air date. Taking to Twitter, the A lister said, just a tweet letting you know this Game of Thrones release date quote I've supposedly given is completely false and taken from an interview I did years ago. In previously published quotes, the actress is reported to have said, we air our first episode in April, 2019. That's a four-month turnaround for these huge episodes. There's a lot that goes into the final edit. She went on to tell the Metro, you would not want to rush this season at all. We owe it to our aunts and our fans to really do this final season to the best of our abilities. Most recently, the young star dropped a huge hint that Arya Stark could in Game of Thrones season 8. Dot during an interview with Jimmy Kimmel. She revealed she knew the ending of the show and that it was incredible. Will Game of Thrones Season 8 be released early? Why? Is Game of Thrones Season 8 taking so long to be released? Production on Season 8 is in full flow with multiple crews. Working on the show across various locations with the program makers taking their time to ensure the final run is the best it can be. Game of Thrones recently returned to the Dragon Pit and there have now been hints that this is where Cersei Lannister is going to be meeting her death and ending up in the Seven Hells. A set near the site of Castle Black was recently seen getting erected, suggesting that there is still quite a bit of work to be done on the new series. It's thought that the huge Game of Thrones Set will be where an upcoming big battle from season 8 is yet to be filmed. There was previous speculation about whether there would be multiple endings shot for Game of Thrones. However Williams recently poured cold water on this theory. She told Gimme Kimmel, I heard this and I thought, I don't think we got the budget to shoot multiple endings. Her words seem to contradict HBO executive Casey Bloys 
who said that to prevent any leaks there would be a number of endings filmed. Depending on which of the conflicting reports fans believe. Filming several finales would be one of the reasons that the show is taking longer than usual to be released. Liam Cunningham has said that fans can expect a bittersweet ending to the story. The actor, who is better known as Sarah Davos Seaworth, said that he knew exactly how the epic saga would be coming to a close. George R. R. Martin, writer of the original books, Describe the end as bittersweet and it is, Cunningham teased to RT Entertainment. HBO programmer Casey Bloyers said last year that a 2019 release date is plausible due to the writing process involved in the show's final season. They have to write the episodes and figure out the production schedule. We'll have a better sense of that once they get further into the writing. He told Entertainment Weekly. The HBO boss also explained that the production of season 8 will be extremely cinematic, so the production schedule will differ somewhat from previous seasons. Season 7 was released in July last year. Having started filming in August the previous year, 2016, filming for season 8 officially started in October 2017. In another interview with the publication, Bloys explained, they take the time they need to do the show at its highest level of quality. As the show has gone on, it's gotten bigger, big battle scenes, big special effects. These things take time. Here's the one thing I can assure you, showrunners D.B. Weiss and David Benioff were not sitting around on a beach waiting to go back to work. They're perfectionists. And this is the soonest it can come back at a level of quality that they are comfortable with. When will the Game of Thrones spin-offs be released? What will happen in Game of Thrones Season 8? Question mark Joe Dempsey, who plays Blacksmith and one of Robert Baratheon's bastards, recently revealed that he'd been filming quite a lot on Game of Thrones season 8 which could either signal his ascent to the throne or death while fighting the White Walkers. A new theory has emerged suggesting that there's a loophole that means Jon Snow will never sit on the Iron Throne due pledging his allegiance to the Night's Watch. There have been suggestions that the final scene could see Jon Snow, or Aegon Targaryen, buried in the crypts of Winterfell as Reddit users speculated. About the last ever scene. A new theory has emerged that Samuel Darley, John Bradley, could in fact be Azor Ahai and have to his beloved Gilly, Hanno Murray, in order to save the world. Game of Thrones season 8 is set to see some major deaths. And there were recent reports that members of the cast were moved to tears by the deaths. Fans have been speculating about whether child star Dylan Sprouse could be playing Rhaegar Targaryen. The character was portrayed by Wolf Scolding in season 7, but now there have been reports that Sprouse, the twin brother of Riverdale actor Cole Sprouse, will be taking up the part. However, it's uncertain whether Agar is even going to be making an appearance in the final run. There have been suggestions that it could be Bran Stark, now the three-eyed Ravon, who will end up on the Irony Throne rather than either Jon or Daenerys, both the former Lord Commander of the Night's Watch and the Mother of Dragons are the favorites to rule the Seven Kingdoms but Bran is not far behind them. A theory has emerged that Daenerys could in fact in the final season with one Reddit user suggesting that the Queen was warned in season 1 that only death pays for life. As fans may remember, Daenerys sacrificed the life of her child to save her husband Khal Drogo, Jason Momoa, and the theory suggests she will sacrifice herself for the good of Westeros. Meanwhile, a brand new set has been built in Belfast, 
which is the largest ever in the history of Game of Thrones. The set, which features two towers with a gaping hole in the middle, could play a major part in the new season. There have been new reports that EastEnders actress Alice Noakes will be playing a character called Willa in season 8 after her casting was announced in November last year. A fresh theory has emerged that the in order to end the long night, John W. L. L. Hafter, his lover and aunt Daenerys. The fan theory suggests that if the stoic former Lord Commander of the Night's Watch is Azor Ahai reborn, then he will have to stab his beloved in the chest and make the ultimate sacrifice. Others have suggested that Azor Ahai could have been transformed into a the Night King. As always, the body count is high on Game of Thrones and the final season is set to have some devastating losses. However, one fan has suggested that Arya Stark will actually save her sister Sansa from the White Walkers using her Valyrian sword needle. While it's just speculation, the two sisters have formed a strong bond after they managed to Lord Baelish when he tried to pit the siblings against each. Other. One theory has emerged that the Night King will destroy King's Landing and Cersei Lannister while the fight goes on. In the North. While the leader of the White Walkers may be attacking Winterfell, there have been suggestions that his undead dragon will fly to the Westeros capital and burn it to the ground. Daenerys Targaryen has already seen visions of the throne room in King's Landing covered in ashes, which foreshadows a dragon attack. The biggest battle will be between ice and fire, with suggestions that Bran Stark, Isaac Hempstead Wright, could be the one to defeat the Night King. Fans have theorized that Bran could be the last hero from. Game of Thrones folklore. There have been suggestions that John could Cersei Lannister, played by Lena Headey, in the final battle in season 8. Most recently, Kit Harrington was spotted filming in Dubrovnik, Croatia, which has served as King's Landing. Some fans have hinted that this could suggest that Jon Snow survives the great battle with the White Walkers to take his place on the Iron Throne. Script leaks have plagued most seasons of Game of Thrones ahead of their official release. With many accurate storylines revealed online. The final season is no different with many pages of scripts which are unverified but appear to be real based on previous leaks. Circulating on the internet. Some of the supposed plot lines already leaked include Cersei and her brother Jaime, Nikolai. Cost to Aldau, locked in a fierce argument while the Night King, Vladimir Ferdic, and the White Walkers attempt to invade. King's Landing. Game of Thrones actors have been spotted in Iceland, including Gwendolyn Christie, Harrington, and Emilia Clarke which suggests that they will be filming some epic battle scenes with the White Walkers. Fans posted on social media about meeting the actors who they bumped into at the airport. Could the scenes be for the first big battle of season 8, Jon Snow and Daenerys? Targaryen were traveling up to the north after all to take on the army of the undead. Actor Peter Dinklage, who portrays Tyrion Lannister in the show, told Variety that season 8 was about halfway through filming and that it would be a bittersweet conclusion. Referring to the delay, he added, It's the final season, and it's a long one, so we're taking our time. Filming resumed on Game of Thrones in January. With Jon Snow actor Kit Harrington returning to Belfast as work continued on the final run. According to fansite watchers on the wall, there's been filming at Shane Castle on a significant scene from early on in the season as two major characters talk about Ned Stark's death as they stand in the crypt at Winterfell. Sources told the site that the scene wrapped up with the horn being blown. 
which could potentially signal the arrival of the White Walkers. Then again. It could be too early in the season for that but fans will have to wait and see if there will be a siege at Winterfell when. The Army of the Undead come. Game of Thrones cinematographer Fabian Wagner also shared a shot from the location on Instagram. As the Season 8 shoot continues, Game of Thrones Season 8 cast a brand new theory as hinted that Jaime Lannister could actually be the savior of the world, as Aura High. In Season 7, John told Daenerys, the children of the forest made these a very long time ago. He was referring to early cave images of the children of the forest teaming up with three of the first men to fight the White Walkers during the first long night. In the scene, the two gaze at a photo of three men, one of whom has a cuff on one hand which has led fans to speculate that John Danny and Jaime represent the first men. The fan theory posted on Reddit suggests that Jaime and his golden hand are key to saving the world of man. According to Reddit user Bird82, so. The basic gist is that there is a seriously problematic translation error that, once cleared up, will shed light on the identity of the hero. The user goes on to say, according to the Valerian Dictionary, Valyrian words for Lord and Light are Ixio and Donos. However, Valyrian words for Gold and Hand are Echen and Ondos. The Lord of Light is a Fuss. Jaime Lannister, Gold Hand, is the Hero and Legend of the Prophecy. Game of Thrones Season 8 locations There have been theories from fans suggesting that Cersei Lannister could in fact be the Night Queen with suggestions that she would be ed by her enemies and then brought back to life by the Night King to reign by his side. Along with Cersei becoming the Night Queen. There have been theories about who will her with many suggesting that Jaime will be one to do it. However, others have said that Iron Born leader Euron Greyjoy. Pilo Asbeck, could murder Cersei in his bid to take her throne. Fans have reported a lot of activity around the Winterfell set with photos purporting to show cranes and rigging holding up lights. As filming is underway. While there was no word on the scenes being filmed, Winterfell is going to be having a big role in the final season and it seems fairly likely it's going to come under fire. Are there? Images appear to show a new King's Landing set being built at the Titanic Studios in Belfast. Bizarrely though there appears to be a dummy of a construction worker which may have been put there to throw fans off the scent. Nevertheless, the new set appears to have a hole in it which could suggest that it will also be attacked. Could this be the White Walkers finally making it to the capital of Westeros and the Red Keep? According to Game of Thrones fan side Winter is coming. There's been a lot of activity on the Winterfell set with a night shoot involving a battle scene. Pictures captured by Oakleaf. Photography revealed much about the shoot and the company tweeted, Big night of filming for hashtag got H tonight 26 1 at the Winterfell. Set money glass N Ireland 200 plus extras in a big battle scene. This was awesome to see tonight. What's more? A video has also emerged from filming and sounds on the audio suggest that the castle is getting attacked by the living rather than the dead which quashes theories that the White Walkers will try to take Winterfell. Speaking about the last run, Maisie Williams told the Radio Times, it's either going to be everything that everyone dreamed of, or it's gonna be disappointing. It depends which side of the fence you're going to sit on. I think no matter what you do there's definitely going to be that divide. It depends on what people want from the final season. I love it, but I don't know. You never know.
Her words suggest that the finale could potentially be divisive but with an expansive story like Game of Thrones. Not everyone is going to be happy with the ending. In terms of loose end, fans have been questioning whether Edmore Tully's storyline vowed be wrapped up. He hasn't been seen for a while and was last being held prisoner by the Lannisters. Actor Tobias Menzies recently spoke about the possibility of returning to Game of Thrones as Ed Moore. Game of Thrones Season 8 directors and other leaked storyline shows Tyrion Lannister, Peter Dinklage, Arya Stark, Maisie Williams, Sansa Stark, Sophie Turner, Brienne of Darth, Gwendolyn Christie, and the Hound, Rory McCann, are racing through a camp that's being attacked by White Stott regardless of what has been leaked. Fans know some of what to expect from Season 8, such as the revelation of Jon Snow's, Kit Harrington, parentage and indeed royal status and the Night King and his army breaching.